This is me talking about justice for Aubrey. If you have not followed this whole story, you need to because I'm going to give tidbits about what happened. I don't know the full story. Obviously, only the people that are right there in the circle know about it. But the internet has overnight helped this mom. So Aubrey was a 13 year old and she was being bullied by three girls at school and sadly last year unalived herself. So the mom would post about her journey and how she's trying to, you know, just cope with all of this and the internet did what it does best and it found these girls that were bullying her. So now the families are taking action and they have the mom take well, the law had the mom take down her um, social medias, so she no longer can talk about what happened to her daughter, how to raise awareness for other kids that might be being bullied at school or online or anything like that. They completely silenced her. So, sadly, the whole situation is just, it's just awful. One minute your daughter's there, the next she's not, and then the whole judicial system is trying to shut you up so you can't talk about your child and remember her. What? We should have a safe zone where we can talk about what we need to because there are probably thousands and thousands of other people going through this exact same situation. And they want to know, what can I do? Who else has gone through this? Can you relate? Like, people need to come together. Instead, this family is getting this mother shut down. I did hear too that the girl who was in charge of bullying, her dad is the superintendent at the school. So therefore, it was brushed under the rug, not a big deal, yada yada. Next thing you know, this 13 year old has unalived herself. So you guys do your research, check into the story. It's absolutely heartbreaking, but we need to speak about this because there are so many children. I remember during COVID, a girlfriend of mine posted on Facebook that she was so sad to hear that her daughter was being bullied so bad during COVID. She said, Mom, I don't want to go back. I like being at home. I'm safe. I don't want to go back. She was like 12 at the time. We shouldn't, we shouldn't be fearful that our kids are going to school or going to social events because bullying is a real thing. I was bullied all throughout elementary school, and when I got to high school, it was... Luckily for me, it didn't really happen, but I there are hundreds and thousands of kids that it happens to every single day. So if we can raise awareness even for one video for this family, I'm going to tag below, check into all of it because it is absolutely heartbreaking. And since she can't use her voice, we can use ours, just like Sweet Mama Top said.